In this tutorial, what we're going to do is take a look at a few different techniques that we can use to analyze big data sets. Uh, we're going to learn to use uh, two or three different techniques, which are these ones just here. Uh, and we're going to do that to work through a big list of all the medals that were awarded from about the year 2000 onwards. So let's uh, start by picking up the tool that we need for this, or our resource, which is this workbook here. So we need to right click on that, go down to save link as, I'm going to go into your H drive, into your computer science folder, there's me, year 9, uh, game of life, and then Olympic medals, and save that into position. Once you've saved that, what you can then do is you can load up Excel, and once Excel's loaded up, you can go to uh, File and Open, or actually, hang on, there it is, uh, Open Other Workbooks, that'll do, down to Browse, into your computer science, into your 9, into Game of Life, and open the Olympic medals. So, what we've got here is a bunch of different questions, and we're going to try and attempt to answer these using some of the data analysis tools that are built into Excel. You'll see at the bottom here, we've got various different tabs that we can take a look at. So, uh, start, this is just telling you the names of the functions that you're going to use today down here. Uh, you've also got demo data, which is some stuff that we can use for something else a bit later on. And we've also then got the, uh, the questions that we want to answer today. So let's have a look at some of our raw data and see if we could come close to that um, and answer maybe the first question. And I'll let you do the rest. So it says, what is the total of all the medals awarded? Well, let's take a look in our data uh, set just here. And here we have, look, starting at the year 2000 Olympics, uh, here is, uh, we've got Kim Nam Sun and... There you go, he or she, I don't know much about that person. That's 20 years old, uh, and they're from South Korea. And in the year 2000, uh, they took a gold and a silver medal in archery, for example. So that's one, and there's two medals there. And what we're saying is we want to add all of these up. But if I grab the scroll bar on the far side and I start dragging, what you might realize straight away is that we've got rather a big data set. In fact, in this particular data set, by the time I get down to the bottom, uh, there's over eight and a half thousand different medals that have been, um, sorry, at least that many rows that have been entered, and some people won more than one medal. So it's going to be quite tricky to add all those up. But thankfully, we can use some of the formula ideas that we used before to help us out. So one of the ways we could do it, scrolling back up to the top, if I was just going to add together the gold medals, uh, or maybe just the golds and the silvers, is I could click and hold the mouse button down here. So I've highlighted both of these two, and I can then move the mouse down to the bottom of the screen, and then I can pause. And you'll see it's now scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. We're up to the 2000s now. 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000, 7000, almost there now. 8,000, and the half, and it actually automatically slows to a stop once it uh, hits the bottom, and I just uh, left it a bit too long, so it went past it. So I could highlight all those, just like before, highlight one more, and then click Auto Sum. It'll take a second or two, but it'll top them all up. Let's go back to the bottom again. It'll top them all up, and it'll tell me that between all the golds and all the silvers, uh, they've got about 6,500 medals in there, with an to add in all the bronzes as well. Uh, if I've got those, and I could then use an auto sum boink, to add the whole lot up. I could do it that way. That's quite time consuming. What's going to be a little bit faster is to start to try and write a formula for myself. If I make a mental note that I want to add up everything from, uh, this is G2, to, uh, it's going to be to I, big number, isn't it? So it's G2 down to I, big number. Let's get down here. Uh, there's the bottom. So I could say that I want to add up equals the sum, open brackets, from G2, colon, up to uh, I, let's have a look, I, uh, 8,619, 8,619, close bracket, and hit enter. That actually adds them all up. Okay, so uh, for question one, for the first of the questions, I know that there were 9,529 medals awarded over the uh, 2000 to the 2012 Olympics. So that's quite nice uh, in itself. So that's one way I could answer some of those questions, and I could write my answer in here. So there's some other questions in here that we can't answer quite so easily, like who's got uh, the most gold medals in a single sport, athletes' names missing, and so on. So let's look at a couple of other techniques, and then you're going to have to try and work with those to get the sorts of results that you want. 
The first one, scrolling back up to the top, the first one that we can use is something called filters. So uh, Excel's very, very good at doing this. And all you have to do is you'll notice at the moment I've got nothing in particular selected. I'm going to come up here to the top right hand corner where it says sort and filter. Click on there and then choose filter. What this does is you'll get these little droppy down arrows here that are appearing now. And what I'm able to do is I'm able to tell the computer that I'd like to see a subset of all the data that I've got. So I want to search within that data. So let's try and think of a specific example that's not one of the questions. Uh, I could, for example, come into the country tab here. And when I click on here, what it actually does is it picks up and produces a list of every single person, oh, sorry, every single uh, different entry that I could possibly see. So you'll see all the countries of the world in here. And at the moment, I'm seeing all of them. Select all is ticked, as are all the others. But if I untick select all, and then say, actually, I'd only really like to see people from Brazil, I could do that, and then I can click on OK. The computer will take a little think, and after a few seconds, I'll now only see the records in that data set where the country is Brazil. And there it is down to the bottom look. And you'll actually see as well in the bottom of your screen, it'll tell you how many of the records it picked out. So there's only 220 uh, Brazilian medals in three Olympics. Ugly, crikey. I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, okay, so we could do that. We could be more powerful than that, though. We could say, well, what about all the ones where the country is Brazil and uh, and 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 it was just the 2004 Olympics as well? And click on OK. So now these are all the medals that Brazil won in 2004. You could go again. You could say, what about all the medals that Brazil won in 2004 in uh, the sport of uh, football? There you go. Uh, so the answer is 17. So we've got a bunch of uh, a bunch of silver medals. So 17 silver medals awarded to Brazil in 2004 for that. And you can see the ages of all the players down the side and all their names as well. So that's quite nice. Now at the moment, it's very easy for someone to save this, close it, and come back to it, and not be sure about what you're looking at. But whenever you start turning on some of these filters, you'll see a little filter icon rather than the standard drop-down arrow that I've got just here. So before I do any more questions, I'm going to go back into here, and I'm going to go back to select all again for that one. <laughs> select all for that one and select all for that one again. So I'm now seeing my entire data set again. I'm not filtering anything down. Okay, well, what else could we do? Another thing that might be quite nice sometimes with a set of data would be to have the ability to come in and to, uh, to sort the data out. So I could, for example, maybe I want to see the oldest um, Olympic medalist. I could do that, couldn't I, by, uh, by coming through the, uh, the ages just here. If I could sort all this data by age. I could see the oldest and the youngest medalists. So let's try and do that. So what I'm going to do this time then is I'm going to come into my filter boxes and you'll actually notice I've got two sort options just here. So I'm going to choose first of all sort largest to smallest. So let's try that and give that a second or two. There we are. And so it turns out that we've got a silver medal for Canada for this chap Ian just here. Look, uh, he was 61 in 2008 and he took a medal in the, uh, the equestrian and the horse riding. We've got a few data sets here, we've got some data missing, can't do much about that. Uh, and we could also do the same process again, and we could sort smallest, and we could actually see that we've got a 15-year-old here taking a silver in the fencing in 2000, that's really impressive. And uh, in fact, quite a few 15-year-olds scoring quite well in the, uh, in the Olympics there, like that. So we can apply sorts, and once I'm finished, I can just do it one more time. And that turns it, well, in fact, just leaves it where it is. I think the default for this was to sort by um, to sort by year. So I'm going to pop it back onto there again. Okay, so that's another technique uh, that we can use to sort our data. Let's take a quick look at some of the questions in here. So who took the most gold medals in a single sport? Well, I think you can probably solve that now. How many people's names are missing? I think maybe he was a bit of a filter. You might be able to do something like that. Uh, in actual fact, looking at all these questions on here, I reckon you can do almost all of these. I think perhaps the only one you might struggle with is this one about average age. That's going to be a couple of steps to do that. So I'm not going to spoil that one for you. But if you think back to the previous tutorial, I've shown you how to calculate ages. And it's, uh, that's quite straightforward. So now, factual fact, I think now you've got all the skills you need to be able to answer all these questions on, uh, on the Olympics using your new data analysis skills. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.